Greetings to the free world known to man. Back at you one more again. W wanted to talk to you good folks about Theodore Roosevelt. Because see, a lot of you people love quoting presidents from the past and going on about their greatness. There was this one speech that Theodore Roosevelt made that comes to mind called The White Man's Burden. Now, you can feel free to use your search engine because you're on the internet right now to go and review this speech yourself. Because we're not making this up. This really, really happened. And we recall this memory as a child because when we heard it in class, we're going to discuss the white man's burden today. We knew that there was probably nothing good about to come out of this lesson. Like, at all. At all. Nonetheless... The speech basically states that it's on the white man to go and spread civility, um, knowledge, and goodwill across the nation. Not just the nation, the globe. The globe. It's the white man's burden. Now, of course, you know, he meant all, you know, Americans and whatnot. No. If you can read this speech and not see the systematic type of supremacy and or racist edicts that this great nation is built on and not just the nation but the the way you people think this is how you when you think of how anyone who's ever said anything negative about blacks latinos any type of immigration na 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 that's what you sound like the, the white man's burden like you you've got this whole little precious set of rules and ideologies that can govern the entire globe and make it a better place because it's on you to save everyone. The same way when the conquistadors came over to take care of the Aztecs and the Mayans, the same way when Christopher Columbus and the following settlers came over here to take care of the natives and then import their product, the slaves, it's the white man's burden. So when you come up with these fantastic ideas or, you know, these, 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 eloquently worded civil concepts that aren't meant to be racist like here for example mr donald trump hi sir how you doing um and you expect people to not sit there and react to it or take offense to it or know that you're really talking about a larger collective than the very small sector that you're allegedly pointing out flaws in no you don't get that back you don't, you don't, you don't get to change it from the white man's burden to just trying to be, well, we don't even know how to, how to, we don't even know how to put it into words, what you think you're doing. The white man's burden is over. It, it, that doesn't exist anymore. With so many more people being aware of the little tricks of the trade, how you people have been getting away with murder, literally. For centuries, you can't openly say the things that you, you really feel that you're justified in doing and saying. And, and think no one's going to have cause or pause to sit there and go, you know, that was a little racist, by the way. And, and most of you people don't even realize that you're racist. That's the funny part. Well, it's not funny to you. It's funny to us. And it's not comical funny. Like, haha. It's like ironic funny. It's a white man's burden. Go review the speech.